Experiments on mice show that music can soothe pain. An international team of scientists conducting experiments on mice showed how sound can inhibit pain processing in the brain. Discoveries these may lead to the development of new ways to fight pain. A group of scientists have identified neural mechanisms, the thanks to which the sound relieves pain. Research that appeared in the journal Science, they were conducted on rodents, but scientists believe similar mechanisms they also function in humans. These findings may help develop safer and more effective pain treatments. Research conducted by scientists from the National Institute of Dental and Craniofacial Research, which is part of the National Institutes of Health and Chinese Facilities, University of Science and Technology and Anhui Medical University. We need more effective methods of dealing with acute and chronic pain, and this starts with a better understanding basic nervous processes that regulate pain, says NITCA director Rina D'Souza. Discovering circuits that mediate pain reduction in mice through sound, this study adds critical knowledge that can ultimately contribute to the development of new approaches to pain therapy ads. It all started in 1960, when a group of dentists she published very interesting research in which they played music with their own people patients during treatments. It seemed that people felt when listening to music less pain. Some didn't even need anesthesia to survive unpleasant procedures. However, why does the brain reduce pain sensation in the response to the sounds was not clear. In new research, scientists managed to explain the mechanism pain relieving effect of sounds, at least in mice. For better understanding scientists released mechanisms that reduced the feeling of pain for 20 minutes a day mice enjoy reach out and symphonic music, at least for human ears, Bach. Music was played at 50 to 60 decibels 60 decibels to the level noise produced by a vacuum cleaner. Background noise reached about 45 decibels. During these sessions, Scientists injected mice into their paws pain-causing solution. They then poked the rodents' paws with thin fibers with different levels of pressure to see how they react. If they shuddered, they licked their paws or pulled them back. Scientists took this as an indication that mice they feel pain. It turned out that the music played at low intensity and the ratio to background noise reduced the mice's sensitivity to pain. Then the scientists changed Bach to quite unpleasant ones rearranging the same song. They also gave the rodents a simple buzz. So surprisingly, all three types of sounds had the same effect. When researchers they poked the paws of mice at about 50 decibels, the mice did not flinch. And with louder sounds, the animals were much more sensitive to the stimulus. Only a third of the pressure on their paws was enough for them to react the same, the like without music. This intensity turns out to be the key says Yuan Yuan Lu of the National Institute of Dental and Craniofacial Research. We were really surprised when it turned out that intensity mattered sound, not a category or perceived pleasure from listening to it adds Lu. Scientists repeated the experiments by tracking the red dye fluorescent injected into the mouse's auditory cortex, a region of the brain sound processor. They found that a lot of dye accumulated in some dense areas of the thalamus, which is a sensory processing center, so it suggests that connections between this region and are involved in pain suppression auditory cortex. Tiny electrodes implanted in animal brains showed furthermore, the relatively quiet sounds reduced auditory cortex activity. Studies have shown that low-intensity sounds make suppress neurological signals between the auditory cortex and the thalamus by inhibiting processing pain in the thalamus, the team summarized in the publication. Generally sound reduces pain in mice by lowering neuronal activity in the auditory cortex. 
It is unclear whether similar processes also occur in humans and whether other aspects of sound, such as harmony or listening pleasure, they are important for relieving pain in humans. We don't know if human music has any meaning for rodents, but has many different meanings for humans says Lu. The results may give scientists a starting point for research aimed at the purpose is to determine whether these findings will be applicable to humans and ultimately they can help develop safer alternatives to opioids for treatment pain. Although scientists cannot study the connections of the bark the auditory thalamus in the human brain using invasive methods can reproduce similar ones sounds people and monitor thalamic activity with MRI scans. Discoveries can also provide scientists with a cheap and easy way protect rodents from pain during various experiments without disturbing them results. Thank you.